too much about tonight's show just yet, but I can describe my mood. Evil. close but tonight another housemate will see their hopes of winning dashed uh, when they're evicted from the house and you know what it's all down to you their fate's basically in your ha hands so who do you want to win celebrity big brother yeah. do you want Bez? if he's twisted your melons call 09011 32 3301 or do you want bridget if you think she's hot diggity call 09011 32 to vote for caprice Give her, oh my gosh, give those fingers a workout by calling 0901323303. Or do you want Chess King, Jeremy? If you like his moves, call 0901323305. Or how about Kenzie? If MC Humpty Dumpty's got you in a spin, call 0901323307. Or text the name of the housemate you want to win to 84444. Digital viewers can press the red button now uh, and in just over 20 minutes time we're going to take a vote count and the celebrity with the least votes will be evicted now here is what happened in the house yesterday after surviving an evening uh, dressed up as an egg <laughs> Kenzie is about to be tested with a new challenge dear 15 11 16 a.m. The housemates have been awake for one hour and 22 minutes. Bridget is in the garden. All of the other housemates are in the living room. Big Brother calls a housemate to the diary room. Hello, Kenzie. Hello. What's this, man? By coming to the diary room, you have just volunteered for an individual task. Oh, no, shit. On the chair is a miniature camera. To pass the task, you must take paparazzi-style photographs of your fellow housemates without their knowledge and then return the camera to Big Brother for developing. Your time starts now. Double O Kenz, you look like geniuses. All right, cool, 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 cool. That's quality, mate. I look forward to it. Yeah, I'll be Thank back. you, Kenzie. <coughs> if Kenzie passes his individual task, he'll gain a reward for the whole group. Some random bullshit, man. Uh-oh. What to do, what to do, what to do. I'm quite restless at the moment, to be honest. <laughs> You're going nuts. Huh? You're going nuts. I was laughing earlier, because I'd just seen Bridget peeing this kiwi and jumping up. And I realised it was for you, and I was just laughing. I was just laughing, because it was like all of us were running round after you, because you're 19. That can fit perfectly. It's a high wall, isn't it? Yeah. You're never getting out. Twelve or nine PM. It's been fifty-three minutes since Kenzie was set his individual task by Big Brother. What towels in there, bro? Just but what's tired now? I'm just gonna get a picture. Oh, nice call, I'm trying to feel which one was mine. It is crazy. That's not nice, that. Oh, the mood is crap. What? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's happened. 1.51 pm. 
Jeremy and Kenzie have been playing chess with bottle tops for the past 37 minutes. I wicked. Do you really like it? Is it, is it wicked? Loving it, loving it, loving it. Uh. Bridget, Caprice and Bez are in the living room. Bridget is cooking a meal of chicken curry and a serving of vegetable goulash for Caprice. Oh, God, you guys, so tomorrow's really one of the last days. I mean, oh. Well, I'll be out of here tonight, me, probably, if there's an infection on. I don't know, Bezzy. As, as a role model, you like, like say I'm not a good role model for people. For the I know, age. but you're a good person. People like I mean, you, you are people a bit like fucked your up, personality. Let's face it. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind you know, being fucked up. We all know that. But you've improved, lovey. Uh, Where there's a will, there's a way. This is Big God. Brother. Could Caprice come to the diary room? God, uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> wow, it scared me, man. <laughs> the hell was that? Hello, Caprice. Hi. What is the mood like in the house today? Uh, you know what? Everyone is now... We sort of see the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, everyone's getting on. We're just getting on with the day, doing, doing our thing. Who do you think will win, Big Brother Caprice? It might be Kenzie or it might be Bezzy, because Bezzy's such a good nature, you know. He has such a, such a lovely disposition. <laughs> Thank you. And he has such a good nature about him. Do you think you can win Big Brother Caprice? I don't think so. <laughs> you know, I didn't come in here with that with that attitude that I would even want to win Big Brother. I just wanted to survive Big Brother. <laughs> you know, like I had said before with my little puppet, I'm, you know, I could be quite an introverted person and I really <sighs> I um I like being on my own and I'm never around people, especially this amount of people, 24-7, you know? Why do you keep doing that? <laughs> 2 20 p.m. Earlier today, Big Brother set Kenzie an individual task. To pass, he had to secretly take clear photographs of each of the housemates. Big Brother has gathered the group on the sofas to announce the result of the task. Oh, oh cool. mate! Oh, <laughs> oh I'll tell you what, you're good. What Shit. is that? <laughs> that was supposed to be a bridge in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm there. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Shit! Kids, you're a genius. Do you think you passed? What was that? I took, I took nine or ten photos. Oh, man. This is your most oh. successful shot. <laughs> oh, mate. Big, oh. what's that? It was a fingerprint. <laughs> my finger, because it was so hard. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, no. That's the best one. As the only clear picture Kenzie successfully took was of himself, Kenzie has failed the task, and the group will not now receive a reward. Oh. Never that's mind. Okay, Ken. Ken's never, never mind. mind. Sorry. I thought I honestly was convinced I'll pass that, honestly. <laughs> Fuck! Hey, never mind, dude. Doesn't matter. Yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't you matter. try. Doesn't matter. Three forty five PM. Bez, Jeremy and Kenzie are in the spa area. I thought you got one of me. I thought about counted as a, a paparazzi. It did, that was the only it was only no, one. The only one that counted was my, me. It's, it's, old. it's bollocks, isn't it? I've been snapped like that. Never never had a paparazzi on me in your life, mate. All the time. All the time. All the time. Do you? Yeah. Obviously mainly because of the nation, but I mean it's a combination, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, to be honest, it's because of where I live. It's because the area I live, by Primrose Hill and everything, there's a lot of famous people live around there. So there's a lot of photographers around there, so they just snap you anyway. Do you know what I mean? Any excuse. Me and my dog, me out running. Caprice is in the living room. Bridget is talking to Big Brother in the diary room. How are the group getting on? They're getting on just fine. Absolutely fine. I think um, if anyone bears since yesterday has made a lot of progress. You can tell he's pretty um, satisfied with himself, he's happy. It's nice to see him that way. The one I maybe now get most along with 
and it's strange because I'm the oldest one in here now, um, is Kenzie. I just find him a really, really sweet, intelligent, witty, funny young kid that deserves to go far. Do you think you can win? No, I don't think that I cannot win, but I don't think I deserve to win. Let's put it this way. Whoever is going to win is going to be happy, is going to be proud or whatever, but it's not, that necess- it's not a necessity for me. It won't uh, break my heart or anything like that if I'm the next to go or arrive second or third or whatever. It's not at all. I think I've gained a lot in here. p.m. The housemates have been set their next task. Big Brother has provided them with a selection of completely useless devices. The housemates have been given 30 minutes to think of a use for their device and to rehearse an infomercial, which they'll then present on the Big Brother retail channel in the divey room. No! Brilliant! Cordless thing shifter. This identifies ugly birds at parties. Oh, my God. <laughs> right? You're with your mates. You've had a few. You can't tell whether a girl is good-looking or not anymore, yeah? Because you're pissed. You've got your beer goggles on. You can't see. Or you have no fear. The cordless plan shifter is here. <laughs> Just sidle up to the girl with what looks like your innocent little disco ball. Hello, darling. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you look a bit lovely. It's very pumpy. She thinks, oh, look, what a nice bit of material you've got with you, yeah? If she's a moose, <laughs> woo, 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 woo! <laughs> flange shifted. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Quality cordless flange shifter. 5 or 4 pm. The housemates are gathered on the sofas with their chosen products. The first to the diary room is Bridget and her deluxe oh, deflumper. Nice. Let me see you very Ladies and gentlemen, dearest customers, welcome to Bridget Nielsen's Home Shopping. I'm really pleased and extremely proud to offer you another incredible item. She's uh, very good at this. When you take a nice walk with your dog and you're about to walk in, the Lux Deflumber is there smiling at you go, oh, oh, just a minute, because you've just stepped into the biggest cake of dog shit and you would not <laughs> want to mess up your apartment. You just do this. See? Nice and clean, <laughs> nice item, beautiful. Never leave home without it. Also, you might have a dinner party. You We've done a minute. Thank you, Bridget. Your time is now up. I wanted to say the price is so convenient. It used to be £175. <laughs> pounds. That was really good. Oh, yeah. 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 Done. That was, that was... I did not get to say... What Jeremy was. and the upright Decoflex are next. Ah, that's a follow that, man. Yeah, that was really good, babe. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Big Brother Shopping Channel. I have for you today, for your delight, the upright deco flex. Now, imagine the situation. You've got the mother-in-law coming round. You want to impress her by baking a beautiful cake, but you're not much of a chef. You're no Demi Oliver. Press the little deco flexer button inside here, and if there's excess material within the bowl, it'll soon let you know. There's it. Oh, hang on. Oh, too much. Too much cake mix. There you go. For a price of only £135, it can save your marriage. You'd be mad not to buy one. Holy mountain. I got really tongue-tied in the middle. You were perfect with the timing. You know, we're not going to pass it. I didn't say, say Big oh, Brother Retail. Oh, it doesn't matter. Caprice has now presented her Mark IV Scorpholite. Kenzie successfully advertised a cordless flange shifter. Bez is the final housemate to come to the diary room. Bez will be presenting the Ujima Flip 2000. Let me introduce you to the Uji Flip, the greatest invention of all kinds in man. Every home, every hospital, every prison is going to have one. The Uji Flip. It's, it is a clean thought processor. If you think it's bad, you plug in your Uji Flip, slip on your headphones and let it flow. If you want to go robbing or jailbreaking, slip on your Uji Flip and Uji Flip will do the work for you. It cleans out your thoughts. Another example of the Uji Flip and it's great as... Thank God for that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes ah. Well in Bez, that's yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? How yeah, could it not lose the thing? I've just probed the oh. easy flip as well. Man. It's not very well made, though. I've got no. <laughs> Ten thirteen pm. I have to pee. 
housemates have been in the living room for one hour and 42 minutes. Big Brother has provided the housemates with three bottles of white wine, one bottle of red wine and three beers. Good. You want a bit of a... Mm -hmm. Oh, but mm. my... I mean, I appreciate it, but you don't have to necessarily spill everything all over me. Well, I'll stop your moaning. Listen, lovey, I'll knock your fucking rest of your teeth out of your mouth yeah, if you speak go. to me like that again, OK? Here we go. Oh, don't here we even go. fucking the do it. The sickies are getting sick. I've had no I'll tell sickies. You something. Like, no, it has nothing to do with sickies. I'm just telling you, I'm the most patient person. Are you I was, wait, right, I was waiting for the Siggy snap coming from you, and there it's coming now. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Uh oh. Will Jeremy come to the diary room? Taking my coat just in case. Now that's going to totally throw me. They're playing with us. It's no, not tonight. It's not right. tonight. No, Jeremy, they're playing with us, yeah. mate. It's not tonight. It's too late, though. It's, it's nearly half, so. Why do you think you've made it this far? I don't think I'm really offensive. That's why. I think, I don't, you know, the people who have gone so far have all been quite, you know, forceful. And uh, it doesn't work in this environment. Do you think you can win? I'd like to. I would, I really would. But I would genuinely be amazed if I did, because you've got Kenzie and you've got Bears. And they're quite big characters, you know? And... I don't, just don't, it doesn't seem like I would be the kind of person that would, you know? I'm not mad enough or, or, you know, whatever. Ten fifty eight pm Bez and Bridget are in the spa. Jeremy, Kenzie and Caprice are in the bedroom. And I seriously do need a massage when I get up here. My fucking legs. I was actually being serious. I was thinking. No, no, I just joke with you because it's funny. I know, but I, yeah, I was thinking about going to a massage parlour. I go to my gym. They got they do it at my gym, like sports massage. My legs, right like, now, I'd kill just. To, oh, I ache. My back aches. That's what I'm like. I work hard. And I deserve a full body massage after. Everyone, no, they think that I go. Yeah, I'm going a full body massage. Everyone's like, whoa, you dirty little. <laughs> thinking, well, you know. All I want is a rub. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Two more nights, guys. That's it. Fuck. I've got to survive this one first. And tomorrow night, and possibly Saturday night. Maybe not even tomorrow night, but do you know what I mean? Yeah, man, this might be my last night. You never know. All of us. All yours, all yours. Dude, I thought for sure I was going tonight. Oh, I said, man, don't get so paranoid. I can't believe they didn't have an eviction tonight. Coming up after the break, instead of being a contender, one housemate becomes an also ran. Find out who in four. <laughs> to Celebrity Big Brother! OK, you've been voting for who you want to win and the person with the least votes is about to be evicted. I am now going to talk to the house. Oh. Big Brother House, this is Davina. Oh. You are live on Channel 4. Please do not swear. All week, the public have been voting. The votes have been counted and verified, and I can now reveal that the fourth housemate to be evicted from the Big Brother house is... <laughs> Come on, hurry up, then. What the hell? I didn't catch that. Oh. Caprice! Oh, oh. Oh. Don't believe that one. Oh, Jesus. Dave, I totally believe that one. Jeez. Oh, oh man. Guys, you that one. You lucky bitch. I didn't Woo! see that one coming. Bye, guys. Bye, darling.
Oh, God. Thanks for everything, Carol. Oh, bye, guys. Um, Send my love to your mum. Bye, guys. I'm so happy. Oh. Okay, Mr. Mayor, Caprice, you've got one minute to say your goodbyes. I'm coming to get you! One minute. Yeah, will tell him I love him very much? I please? will, babe. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'm hey, so sorry. Everything we see on Sunday. Oh, oh, didn't see that one. I didn't see that one. Oh, I did. Oh, so happy. So happy. Forty seconds. Lucky. Lucky girl. <laughs> so that that wait was too long. Let me just wait till we are on the town. Oh, Have a drink for us. Please. Oh, yeah. 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 I will. 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 I Bye, Carol! Bye, 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 bye,
I told them that, and they said, no, 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 she absolutely knew. She, she didn't know, so don't said. be upset, because I saw you a little bit upset by that. No, I was just upset because... Me. No, 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 I just didn't want her to be upset that she was gone. I was just worried about her, because, you know, she didn't see it coming. Let's so, talk about the boys. I want to oh, talk the boys. About the boys. Okay, um, first of all, I want to know what you thought of them. Bez. Oh, I adore Bez. Bezzy. Bezzy, right? Bezzy. I love Bezzy. Bezzy's mates down there. Bez mates down there. Oh, it is Bezzy's family. I adore, and, and, and it, where are his kids? Are his kids out there? Can I tell you, he just wants his kids to be so proud of him. He keeps saying it over and over again. He's so endearing. He's amazing. Okay, let's talk about Jeremy. Jeremy is the phantom pooer. You were blaming John McCrerick, and it was Jeremy! <laughs> I didn't see that coming, but it was so disgusting. You guys have no it idea what I had to go through. Out of that handsome body came that oh, big poo. That is so wrong. Don't say that. He, yeah. he is quite fit. But Should I say that again? The oh. big poo. Oh, I love it. She's God. so shockable, isn't she? She's brilliant. Okay, Kenzie. What do you think of Kenzie? Kenzie well, Kenzie's adorable. You know, he's 19, and for him to be able to adapt to all of us so quickly, it was, you know, really impressive. Well, I think it's safe to say that the boys found you pretty impressive. Uh, just take a look at this. Watch it. <laughs> Are you the totty? You must be the totty. You must be the totty. Yeah. It's probably better if you come in with me and Bez takes yours. That's gonna be the... <laughs> this is the kind of stuff you live for, man. You're gonna go and tell your boys that you can preach in the shower. Get them all! Get them all! Chill. My first nomination for Caprice. She hasn't got her knockers out even once. And I think she's being a little bit selfish on that phone. Uh, did you guys feel that? Yeah. I bet you did. Yeah, I but... bet you did, yeah. My queen is called a strip tease. And what is this strip tease? Please it's... demonstrate. Please <laughs> demonstrate. <laughs> I apologize for being so cheeky. Ken, you've done this before, Kenzie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you are. Oh, my God, do you feel it? Yeah, well. Uh... <laughs> oh, 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 I felt that. That was the water going of into course, the hot coals, obviously. <laughs> um, listen, you said you were single. Mm -hmm. um, are you really single? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, any of them contenders for you? No. No? No, no. I, no. I was in the house, the phantom pooer. The, no, 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 no. It's just wrong. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, now, you said, <clears throat> or some of your housemates said about you that um, sometimes you put up uh, a bit of a facade. facade yeah. Um, do you think that being in the house has changed you at all in that, in that respect, that you were able to let your guard down at all? Definitely. I mean, especially in, in the blue room <clears throat> when we were all answering those questions. And, you know, I, you, know you spend 24-7 with people and you begin to trust them. And so, obviously, the facade comes down. And some drink helps. And, oh, alcohol is lovely. Yeah, that really You should helps. drink more. It really suits you. Very, I think very so funny. Too. <laughs> um, okay, truth questions. Now, listen, I can't, couldn't help but notice that you uh, asked your housemates some quite pertinent and probing questions and um, asked them to tell the truth uh, when they answered. And so I'm going to turn some of your own questions back on you, Caprice. Right, you asked C uh, Kenzie, what's the craziest place you've ever had sex? So, Caprice, oh, I'm asking come you. Come on, no. This is. Listen, this you is asked. Wrong. Kenzie. No, I no, <laughs> no, that, I no. Can't do that one. Can't no. do that one. Okay, you asked Lisa, and um, so I'm asking you: Do you prefer a guy to go downtown or sex? <laughs> Picks like say downtown, downtown, downtown. Okay, downtown. Yeah. Woo! This is naughty. I okay, love I it. That uh, okay, you one. asked Kenzie and Jeremy, what's the longest time you've gone without having? And you use a particularly British word here: shag. A oh, shag. Okay, the longest time I can answer that one. Um, eight months. Eight months? Yeah, torture. Pure, yeah. pure torture. It's not easy. Um, any regrets about doing the show? No way. No way. It's been like a roller coaster, but it's been a great experience, and I've had a great time, and I've met some really great friends. Of all of, of the four that are left in there, who do you want to win? Bezzy. Yeah! Why? Just very, very quickly, why? Bezzy, because he's, the, he's so endearing and he deserves it, man. He's such a good guy. He deserves it. Okay. Bezzy. Caprice, 
thank you for showing us a different side to you. Um, we've seen lots of lovely sides to you, let me tell you, and here are some of your best bits. Oh. I'm Caprice. Hello, Caprice. Hello, darling. <laughs> I'm such a girl's girl, I swear. Go, go, into the shit. We're having a party. <laughs> We would love to have alcohol every night. Look what Auntie Caprice has! I'm getting wasted. Welcome to the Big Brother exercise class. Find that I really want to make you mine. Caprice. Watch it. So find that I really want to make you mine. Do you like me to wipe your ass for you? Did you ever have sex from behind? Wait. I've never, I've never had, had anal sex. Ew. It's French kissing my dad. John, I think you have bigger boobies than me. We got about it. What is the most you've ever been paid for a single day's work? Half a million. You! I don't like this. What the heck is going down here? Yeah. You're looking mighty fine. Caprice is a cash register. Every decision taken is to benefit Caprice Limited. Oh, dear. How dare you say right. that? I have never loathed and detested a man more. Whatever. Whatever. Fuck it, whatever. He shows a mind fuck. I am surrounded by beautiful friends. of experiences just oh, in those few days that you were in the house. It's amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. Can I get copies that, of all that? that yes, of course you okay, can. Great. We'll get you a copy. Um, now, listen, um, please don't take this the wrong way, um, but I do love evictions. I do. I you really do? do. Yeah. I love them too. I do. I'm a great fan. <laughs> well, why don't we have another one? What do, you, what do you think? Crowd out there. Hello? Do you want another eviction? We knew it. We knew it. Okay, yeah, well, that's settled then. Uh, we're going to take a vote count now. Right, Caprice, while we're doing that, you go and see your friends and family oh, over there. thank you. You enjoy thank them. Thank you so much. Right, um, so now your votes are being counted, and after the break, we're going to be evicting a completely unsuspecting housemate, so don't miss it. Ooh, welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother, where tonight... We've got a bit of a taste for eviction. Our celebrities should all be uh, relaxed following Caprice's departure. So let's have a little look at what's going on in the house, shall we? I'm like a boy, suck a lot for the night. Strap to me for go brop, pop, pop. You're not real. That'd be nice when we've had a few so I might I wonder what you're going through. Did, 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 did he give you that talk about uh, today, about got weaving and that? No. No. Because it's been me the talk. You know, the talk about when you leave out there, uh, what's, what's expected. Just my body. I'm now going to talk to the house. Big Brother House, this is Davina. You are live on Channel 4. Please do not swear. The fifth housemate to be evicted from the Big Brother House is... Jeremy! Jeremy, you have one minute to say your goodbyes. I'm coming to get you! One minute. Jeremy! Sorry, no, no. I'm sorry for grinning. Don't grin too big, man. Hey, man. You, got, you got your lucky t shirt on, babe. You're going to knock them dead. I'm sorry, guys. I love you all dearly, but my God, am I happy to be going out? Oh, shit. 40 seconds. Right. Please. Come say goodbye at the door. No, no, like proper. Good. Oh, me kiss, that out. Like it's not like everything. Yeah, You're an angel. Yeah. Have a lovely, lovely evening. Bessie, come here, mate. Come here. Kiss Marley for me. Mind, Look after Ken yeah. for me, won't you? Yeah, yeah, we will. Bye, bruv. Take care. Cheers. 
Yeah. All the luck in the world. 20 seconds. Oh, that's a shocker, that. Was you expecting that, then? No, not at all. Oh. I'm really nervous now, guys. Oh, I'm really really nervous. 10, 9, Go, eight, do it, seven, mate. 6, oh, five, ah, yeah. Yeah. You have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. It was. We thought there would be two, but then, then I wasn't. Then we thought it was all over. So we'd lulled you into a full sense of security. Evil, you're evil, I, evil. You're very evil. You're very sneaky. Your eviction outfit looks remarkably similar I'll to. I'll tell you uh... what. <laughs> I, if it ain't broke, why try to fix it? That's what I always say. You know. That was... is terrible. Have you any idea how much stress I went through deciding what clothes to bring in? How have you, how have you managed without them? Um. Well, pretty well, I think. Yeah, you've done all right. I've done all right. Few white, few white t-shirts. Just, you know, just, get, just crack on. <laughs> you know. The Bez one pair of jeans. Bez me a couple of pairs of pants. Oh, right, OK. And some nice. The pants aren't the kind of things you want to borrow, are they? Well, they were brand new. They were brand new. Oh, that's new. OK. That's OK, then. <laughs> Yay! Look, it's Dermot. Oh, OK, it's so good. Oh, it's so You can yeah, call them later. Later, later. They are oh, true. Run, 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 run. run. <laughs> I've got to sit. Sorry, I've got to hurry, hurry. Right, so, right, you right, sit down right. there, cos we're live. And I haven't got such a <coughs> little time to talk to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeremy Edwards! Yeah! <laughs> okay, mate, you got 12% yes. uh, of the public vote, so why do you reckon you're out? Sorry? Why do you think you're out? I've no idea. Do you think it might be something to do with the phantom logging? Yeah, that was, that's actually. I told Caprice. She's that's like that. Actually, Kenzie, oh. it's not me. Oh, rubbish, it was you that laid the pipe. Hang on, hang on. I started it. And then Ken's and I have been running it the whole time. Have you, have you okay. not been watching it? OK. OK, so you've been swapping over. No, I did the first one. Ken's has done the next three. <laughs> That's a fact. OK, listen, on a, on a more serious note, yes. um, I think one of the reasons why you're here now is um, to do with the reaction uh, that you had when Jackie left. Yes. Now, that was, you know, Brilliant. I know she might be annoying. That was comedy genius. Brilliant. No, no, not comedy on. genius. Okay. Enormously yeah. disrespectful to comedy. an older lady, okay. I thought, because she hadn't even left the building. I know, but did you see her threaten to punch me in the face? Well, uh, but did why you? did she do that? Because she, she said, what the effing is this about the food, which Bridget had been cooking all day. Yeah. And I, t I just couldn't handle it anymore, because she was so rude to everyone. And I said, I'm sorry, but you can't. And I had an argument with her, and she stood up and said, don't tangle with me. I'll in the and put you on your ass. No. So I shut up. But you see, I yes. I mean, it's a fine line, isn't it, between taking it from somebody that's a lot older than you yeah. and taking it on the chin and just thinking, well, they're older than it you. Was, it was meant to be funny. OK. In my defense, it was supposed okay. to be comedy. OK. Well, there you go. Oh, no, it was way over the top. I mean, it wasn't for real. <laughs> now, you actually asked to leave when, um, when she came in. Yeah. Um, what made you change your mind? When? Oh, because... You know um, when she came in? Yeah, 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 because... We haven't got much time, so OK, because Bridget um, decided she was going to stay and because Jermaine walked uh, as a kind of a protest because the whole thing, we, I, thought, I thought that was uh, wrong because it was personal and shouldn't have happened. It's so you were going to leave on someone it? else's... You were going to leave on for someone else's reasons? Yeah, because Bridget was really upset. Now, listen, there have been lots of twists and surprises, and you're a Big Brother fan. Are you still a Big Brother fan? Yes. What's been your best bit? Um, 
I don't know, we've had a lot of laughs. You know, Kenzie and I have had a, have, we muck about. And, and you and Kenzie have just been best mates, haven't you? Yeah, he's really fun. Just take a look at this. Hello. Yo, yo. Me and Junior. <laughs> Kenzie's just pure entertainment. I think he's lovely. <laughs> Jeremy's not my big brother. I suppose he's my best friend in here. Kenzie, fucking brilliant. Yes, yeah, so you've locked the fridge. John, big brother has not tampered with the fridge. It's not funny. It is. Practical jokes are not funny. It's hilarious. Good move. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's more than that. Yeah. People are starting to argue with each other now, like properly, for real. And we've always just had a laugh. Yeah. We're soldiers, Kenzie. Exactly. <laughs> Hello, darling. Yeah. You guys are like me and Lisa, were like. Except we're better looking. It was a big fat log. It, it was you. It was no, no, this is genius. This is genius. It was me. This is the plane. Dressed up as an egg. Someone just said they ended up being the worst one. Did someone just actually say that when I'm in the room? <laughs> Out of all your millions of practical jokes, which one was your favourite? Um, oh, I don't know. I didn't do that many in the end. Really? You did a few. I did a few. I think the Phantom Log, I'm very proud to have started that because it's still going on now. <laughs> and the fridge, that made John very, very The fridge angry. was good. The fridge was good. It was too. quite funny. And you kind of let Caprice take the blame for that as well. When, when he came out and he started going, Caprice, and you're just standing there going, I don't know, I don't know. You've got know. this little angelic face that you kind of go, I don't know what's doing. Um, any regrets? No. No, I can't. You can, only, you can only do what you do at the time, you know? You can only go with what you feel, can't you? And who do you want to win? Well, Kenzie, obviously. Yeah. And who do you think will win, having I, been in I there? I actually think it will be... Well, it's difficult. Now you see all the banners, it changes your, changes your thinking. I, I think... I don't know, Bez, it's really yeah. difficult. Yeah. Um, I think Bez might swing it, because he is hilarious. Um, so, I don't know. And, but then, having seen all the Bridget posters out there, you think, well, you just don't know, do you? Yes, yeah, so we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Um, Jeremy. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for being such a Big Brother fan, and thank you for being such fun to watch and hear your best bits. It's a rather strange, isn't it? Come on. They've done on my entire clothes. Naughty little mix. Oh, fuck. Yeah. And some people walking around calling me Maurice. I'm actually really enjoying it. <laughs> if you'd like to drink it, it's yours. Fuck him. You want to play? To all my fellow housemates, I would like to show my symbol of unity! Yeah, we salute it. You're not sending anyone. You don't have any power in there. I'm a bit pissed off. Yeah, she's gone! She's gone. <laughs> Woo! Hello! We've got a fucking beer tap! Go on, you fucking... Hello, darling. Yeah. I think we could end up being good friends at the end of all this. Thank you, Jeremy. They now leave the diary room. Thank the Lord. Yay, ladies and gentlemen, Jeremy! Listen, they've been loyally supporting you through and through, so please go and say hi to your mum and your brother. Come up, come and give them a big come on. Okay, so uh, you've decided that Jeremy is uh, most definitely not your winner, but who do you want to win Sunday's grand finale? So to vote for Bez, call 09011-323301. For Brigitte, call 09011-323302. For Kenzie, call 09011-323307. Or text the name of the housemate you want to win it to uh, 84444. Votes cost 50p, 25p going to charity. Tune in to Big Brother tomorrow night at 9pm and don't miss the grand finale on Sunday night. Good night.
stop that noise at least. Yeah, if they're gone. Wow, well, I can hear them all out there still. Do you think that's oh not the crowd God. out there? No, yeah. it might be the other tape. No, that's that's crowd that. No, I don't think so. That's proper crowd, that. That sounds over the fence, isn't it? Yeah, man, that's proper gear. Yeah. That's proper crowd, isn't it? See if it's on a loop. I can hear people shouting as well. That's real crowd gear, that, man. Do you hear anything? No, I think it's the tape. It's, it's a tape. tape. It's the tape. You can hear it. Oh, it's the tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 